ඒ වෙනකොට NMR ආයතනයේ ඖෂධ නියමන අධිකාරී We have taken steps to obtain the report on the deletion of data from the NMRA and are attempting to recover the data. Epic Lanka Technologies has been empowered by the committee to engage in the process of recovering data. This process will be conducted under the supervision of the committee. Epic Lanka will be handling the process of retrieving the data and the ICTA will step in to support if necessary. Teams from both the Katubadda University and Colombo University will overlook the task. Figures representing the NMRA and the Ministry of Health will overlook the task. We have created an environment conducive for the committee to operate without any influence. According to Epic Lanka Technologies, the data can be retrieved soon. We have not revealed the names of those in the committee to allow them to carry out their tasks barring any external influence. The data scam. While the state ministry secretary expressed such remarks, questions were raised in parliament yesterday on who forms the committee. An engineer of Epic Lanka Technologies has been arrested for deleting data from the cloud server. Therefore, won't such committees or similar measures further affect the process of uncovering the truth? Couldn't similar incidents occur in storage units containing sensitive data of electronic NICs, passports, court records and bank details? Isn't this a problem to the nation's citizenry? The data scam